What's up, you guys? Josh here with the Go Kalkin channel. And today I am just so excited to show you guys what I've been working on with the Bandit. Uh, this isn't going to be a running video, so just heads up. Uh, you're not going to see any driving, but I just want to talk about the project, where I'm at at this point, and uh, what I'm going to do to try to achieve an even faster top speed. But first, let me just go around the car real quick. You can see the tires I'm running, GRPs, bandit body, the little extension up top, castle motor, of course. Traxxas wheelie bar with the Drag Race Concepts wheelie bar mount. I think that works a lot better. And let me flip this guy around. Ah, oh, yes, it's actually heavy. You'll see why in a minute. 31, 31 gear so i finally got a one to one ratio on this so really excited to try that out the over gearing was too much if you guys saw the 92 mile an hour video definitely too much i don't recommend it but we'll see how the one to one goes you can see this is a very heavy stout um dense build for sure um i guess i could go ahead and replace the front spoiler and the mount if i wanted to it's it's seen a couple crashes, but anyways, this car as it sits weighs 6.3 pounds and what is now running it is 6S. So you guys may have seen a couple of my uh, slash videos where I was able to put uh, 6S into the slash because of this motor and ESC combo, but I have not been able to fit it into this bandit with the custom carbon fiber chassis. That's because there was not a whole lot of room to fit a battery. Had some suggestions thrown out about try using a drone battery, and then other people were saying, well, you'd, you'd burn out that battery way too quick. Well, let me show you what I've done. Let me get this off. And as you guys can see, there's no, uh, I can still get the body all the way on. There's not a whole lot of pressure there. You'll see why that's impressive here in a second. Get the front off. All right, pull it up. Have to pass the antenna. Okay, so I know it looks like a rat's nest, but bear with me here. Um, zip ties galore for sure. So what you're looking at here, you got two Traxxas batteries stacked on top of each other. They're three cell. And this is just the proof of concept. I'm gonna be removing these. I'm not even gonna use them. I ordered two SMC racing batteries, the same uh, type of batteries that I was using when this was a 4S build. I have two 3S SMC racing batteries, 120C on the C rating. Um, let me take these batteries out. And these just barely clear the uh, steering servo, as you guys can see, if I have this battery connector coming out this way. Let me remove that one. And I still have enough room for the straps too to strap the batteries down. So um, the batteries that I ordered from SMC Racing, they're actually a little bit shorter this way. Um, a little bit wider, but that doesn't matter because I've got a, a ton of room on both sides. But they're actually a little bit shorter uh, tall wise as well. So Lengthwise, they're shorter. Tall-wise, they're shorter. Width-wise, they're a little bit wider. Um, but that's going to be perfect. So, I don't know if you guys remember um, from before, but this ESC used to be down on this level right here. I cut that center section out. I bought a second um, top chassis plate. Bought these nylon spacers that have threads up top and down below. Threaded uh, nylon nuts up top and drilled holes where that would line up, mounted that up there, and then put the ESC. Uh, the other thing that I did is I bought these red little standoffs. Um, they are normally shorter, but the guy who makes this chassis also makes taller standoffs. So the combination of these nylon um, standoffs with the longer red ones um, help create that extra space for those two batteries. Um, I bought a bunch of these nylon um, spacers at different heights, and this height is perfect 
in order to fit those two batteries stacked on top of each other while still these wires being low enough where I could put that body on. So that's perfect for that. Um, still nothing in the way of the, the motor, the gears. You can see the motor wires are all braided up and then zip tied here and here. So that doesn't go anywhere. Um, you can see how these wires are routed this way. Motor sensor wire routed, routed that way up and then had to zip tie this down. I did have it back, but that actually got in the way of inside the body. So I had to move that forward, zip tie it there. I even have the castle link on the side right there so I can connect to it. And then you can see the Dumbo RC receiver there. So that's what we're rocking with. I'm really, really happy with this setup. I actually sent a picture of this to the guy that makes these chassis. Um, and you know, say, Hey, if you want to use this idea, make the bottom one open so that we can put, you know, two, three cell batteries in there or three S batteries in there, and then have a platform up here, because as you can see that, you know, has a sharp corner and that down there is nice and, uh, curved in. It'd be cool if it followed, if this top plate followed, uh, the path of the bottom plate, but with this bar right here, I couldn't really do that. So I flipped it around that way. I think it worked out perfect. Um, this will pretty much finish up the upgrades uh, for the Bandit. Once I run it on 6S <laughs> with those two new batteries coming in, that's going to be crazy. I'm really, really hoping I can break 100 miles an hour with this Bandit. Um, it's honestly not even a Bandit anymore. I don't even know. Out of everything on here... A lot of parts can actually be swapped out, um, you know, for Slash or Rustler parts. Honestly, the last thing on here that's a bandit, I believe, is the body. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this has been crazy. It's been fun. Um, I put a little teaser out on the community board on my channel about what might be coming to the channel. So here's another teaser. It's not what you're looking at here. This is not what I was referencing. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this little peek at the, uh, at the setup I'm rocking. Can't wait to try it on 6S. All right, see you guys in the next one. Take care.